Hey guys, my name is Breedon. Today I'm going to share with you the Total Planet collections which are created by me. I can just show you the sample. This is my eye project. This is the solar, the sun, where all the planets are up to scale. You can see the four four planets at here. The first one. The first one is the Mercury. And the second one is the Venus. The next one is the Earth and the Mars. Today I'm going to be your science teacher. Just kidding. So you look at the Venus. If something happened like this. The Venus that I designed, this is just a dummy, and the planet itself has its own texture and the atmosphere. This is the outer layer, the atmosphere. You can adjust the opacity. As we know, as the common sense, the Venus has a very thick atmosphere which is not transparent. That's why you, you always cannot look at the surface of the planet. And this is the layer of the atmosphere. Of course, you can make the opacity to become zero. Then this is the surface of the Venus. All right. Usually, it looks like this. The Venus and the Earth. Look at the Earth. Click the scene at here. This is my eye project that I already shared a download link with you. Double click this eye project to open it. Look at this earth. The first one, this is just a dummy layer. And the cloud. This is a cloud layer. The outer layer, the dummy, is the atmosphere. Of course, the cloud layer, you can make it, make the opacity become, become zero. You still can see the atmosphere. How to, how to adjust the atmosphere layer? The opacity is somewhere here. You click the Earth. The first one, click the Earth here. The first one is the atmosphere. You can change the opacity. This is the, the atmosphere that you can see. And the cloud layer. The next one is the moon. As a common sense, one of the faces is always face the Earth. Which face? All right. And the next one is the Mars. All the planets are already up to scale. With the real scales, compare with the Earth, the size comparison, and the solar is really big. This one, you don't need to worry about that. I'm not going to become your science teacher. I'm not going to explain how big is that or how small is that. But I already made for you and everything already in a real scale in this project. You don't need to worry about that. All right, where is the Earth? The Earth is here. The next planet is the Mars. It's the fourth planet. And the fifth, fifth planet, I don't do the asteroid. This is the Jupiter. The Jupiter have its own ring, you can just see. I made a ring for the Jupiter. If you feel that you don't like the ring, you can just off the opacity. It is up to you. As I, I, I had do some research, I did some research that the Jupiter actually have, have a ring. It is up to you to off it. Look at the Jupiter, this one. The plane. The plane itself is, is the ring. And the next planet is the Saturn. The Saturn, of course, it, it has its own ring. And this one, you don't need to worry about that. The layer, is, is, the layer of the ring is the plane. All right, if you click here, then, then you can see it. this one is the planet. The planet texture. And how about this? 
the Uranus and the, the last one is the Neptune we don't have the Pluto and we have this sky actually how can I make this you look at the solar you can adjust the glow I add the, the glow this is the glow strength and the self illumination and actually how can I make this project now I'm going to show you as well now I start a new one I better teach you everything so that next time you can do it independently all right this one I, I don't want to save now this is just just the icon and at the beginning you go and download download through my link where's my notes all right so in this tutorial I'm going to, just now I'm going to show you that how to adjust the lighting in and the sky in Icron and the IBL is very important. Just now it's just an introduction. And now I'm I'm going to show you how can I make this. How I did this. You just go and download first. The total planet collection zip. This is a zip file. After you download from this link, where can you find this link? You just scroll down, scroll down, go to your video descriptions, then you can find this download link. After you download this. Then you should be able to get this zip file. You right click and click extract all. Then you, you will get this folder. Maybe if you view as view as detail, these are all the icon props where you can see you have two icon skies and the and one is the icon project file. Just now I had show you. This one I also already given to you. And the rest are the planets of the iProps. I right click view as extra large icon, then you can see. First, how to use all this? I have two solars for you. One is already become a real scale, it is a really a giant sun. And another one is just a just not up to scale. This one is just for demo. Alright. Once you drag in. Direct drag in the file, then you can see the self illumination I already created for you. No, this one, this is very important. All right, before I, I create anything, for example, I just drag in some planets. This one is the real scale of the sun. If I drag in, it is really big. Then you have to move it away. It is really a, a big solar. So as demo, I don't use this. I just use the small solar. And I make it slightly bigger. It is easy to manipulate. But you, you can see the lighting is not that good. You don't have any, any of the shadows behind it. So the first thing I want you to do is you click the visual and go to find the IBL. The IBL you can you can just drag to zero. You can see this is the IBL. We don't want this. The next you click the scene and click the light. Now you have four lights. You off this tree. And the next one you click the key and you go to this side. Click the key. Click the eyes. To turn on these eyes, then you can see this light direction. Next, the multiplier, you can just make it bigger. That's all. Then you press E to adjust the direction. Where is the solar? The solar is from there, so you press E to adjust the light, same direction from the sun. And you can see the brightness is not enough, right? 
So the multiplier you can always adjust to become to make it brighter. Now as demo, I, I will just use another another planet. I can put a moon here. And I also put the Mars. Where is the Mars? This is the Mars. All right. We try to look at the brightness. Is that too over? It's too far already. Sorry. I click zero out. Sorry. No. Here. And the Mars is here. It is not that bright. So now, now we can see the light is too bright already. Click the click this key light and set the multiplier. Always use the mouse as reference. Use the mouse and moon as the reference. The moon is here. This surface this moon surface is always faced to the earth. This is just a common sense in the science. Always remember. But it is up to you. In the 3D animation world, you are not always limited to that. All right. Just look at the sun. You can see, even in the sun, you have two layers. One side is the shadow. We don't want this. So you double click the, the solar. Scroll it down. Click here first. And you scroll it down to here, the self illumination to maximize it so that it have it release its own light and the shadows won't fall on the solar. This is the logic. Next one, look at the earth. All right. Now, the background. The background should not be this gray color. I already give you the eye sky. You just need to go to find the star sky at the Milky Way. It's, it is up to you. If I choose this, the star sky, I drag in. Now you can see a lot of stars. Control G, you can off the grid. Now this light, I can, I can click here to make it disappear. Now you can see all the skies are glowing. Why? Click the sky, click here because I, I set the glow map. Of course the glow map you can always turn it off, then it, it won't be glow. This one, the glow, the glow strength, I turn maximize it. Of course, if you use the Milky Way Galaxy Ice Sky is better. My suggestion, use the Milky Way. You drag in, then you can see the galaxies, some of the galaxies here. Then you double click the earth, you press F. All right, there's a moon, the moon is here. Now you already can create a realistic science fiction where you can put your spaceship that approach the earth, all this type of the science fiction that make me excited. And you can see the solar eclipse, the lunar eclipse. You all can create this type of the conditions like this one. You, you cannot make a, sh a shadow here. Why? Where is the direction? Direction of the light. You should be able to, to, see, to see the solar eclipse, the lunar eclipse. All right, it is blocked by this. So now I, I move the earth away, move two of it. And how can you see the, the, the solar eclipse? Can you see? The lunar eclipse. 
where it fall at where where it fall this one double click it click the light here click here the darkness the darkness of the shadow then you can see yes you can simulate the lunar and solar eclipse it is very easy the direction of the light is from there direction of the light should be from the sun however you can see the darkness the darkness of the light it create this also it create a little bit of the shadow at the sun so how, how can we adjust this sun What is the phenomenon here? Is that the sun will, will, will create a shadow, the shadow of the sun? Sorry, is that my computer really lag? The scene, this one, I adjust the darkness. So now you can see, because of this, this light is from the icon, the direction of the, the light is from there then. It create the shadows at here because of this is the shadow of the sun. This is not logic. So we try to adjust this. All right. Next, I'm going to find out this. How to make this object to be free from the shadow. That means the light can penetrate through here and won't cause a shadow at here. About how to remove the shadow of the sun. You can see the shadows fall on the sun because of the direction of the light. The way to remove this shadow, we just need to double click the sun, click here to go to the texture, here and tick the alpha threshold, then you will see the shadow threshold. The opacity, you make the opacity become 99, the shadow threshold, sorry, the opacity will make it become 98. Then the shadow threshold become 99. The maximum is 99. Then now you you already can remove the shadow. The shadow of the sun. So this one the opacity is 99. Then the shadow threshold is 99. Opacity 100 is over. The opacity must below 99. Now, you remove. This is the method. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. And go and download all these iProps, and they are free. You can use it for commercial. Why? Because I download from this website. All the textures I downloaded from this website, and this texture are Creative Commons. You may use Adapt and share this texture texture with any purpose and even commercially. So I hence I use all this texture to create all these planets for you and I give it free for you. And thank you for watching. If you if you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorial and free sharing materials are very helpful to you, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember to turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time when I publish a new video tutorial or any of the free material, you receive the notification immediately from the YouTube. And thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Enjoy and happy animation.